What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios we're going to be taking a look at the difference between old strings and new strings. So we're going to get you to change your strings. Alright, so I am sitting here with a guitar, uh, which is a, a Gibson Custom Shop a Flying V, um, which was made for Japan in 2015, because uh, in 2015 they did not have a like any type of standard series or V series for Gibson, uh, so they're actually all made in the uh, custom shop and shipped out to Japan. Uh, they didn't sell all too well, I guess, in Japan, so they made their way back to North America. And then, obviously, to me. These strings here are probably about uh, two years old. I'd probably, I would say these are the original strings on it. Um, and they don't sound the greatest. They sound nice, but uh, you can tell. That they're old. Uh, also, today I will be playing with a thinner pick. This pick was actually thrown to me on August 16th from uh, Mr. Kirk Hammett from their final North American show um, in Edmonton. It's pretty cool because this pick it's got the old Gretzky on it for uh, Edmonton. Pretty cool. So let's uh, take a listen. I'm going to go from the um, bridge pickup down to the neck pickup. We'll take a listen. Uh, I'm going to play on, obviously, the supersonic, as you can see right there. I'm just going to go on the burn channel, and then I'm going to go on to the clean channel, so you can kind of hear, and then I'll, I'll change the strings, do a few things. That rhymed. And then we'll take a listen to the difference. This is the bridge pickup. <laughs> thin for me so I think I will um, use the thicker pick uh, which is the pick that I caught from the lead guitarist from Avenged Sevenfold who opened up for Metallica <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, do the neck pickup now. There's something to be said actually about old strings. Um, they're kind of, what would you say, I think a little warmer rather than newer strings, which obviously are brighter. Um, but there's also something about a lot of guitars, myself included, um, when they're older strings, but they're your older strings. They're kind of worn in the proper way sometimes. I like changing my strings before I um, do actual proper recording and such, but... Um, Sometimes you just, you, you like the feel of the old. Let's go ahead and on the clean channel, back to the uh, bridge. Neck. So what I'm going to do, um, obviously, I will be, I will be uh, 
changing the strings. Um, what well, generally what I like to do when I change the strings is obviously clean everything up, take the uh, plastic off the pick guard, and um, what I've also grabbed here is some Dunlop uh, Ultimate Lemon Oil. So I'm gonna actually put that on the fretboard. Um, for the longest time, I don't know why, when I first learned how to play guitar and first had a guitar, everyone said, I'll use Murphy's Soap. Um, so I used that for a while. I haven't used that on any of my guitars in probably two or three years, if not five. <clears throat> um, but, uh, I'm going to actually uh, try out the lemon oil and uh, see what that's like here. Um, but obviously, you know, you want to polish your guitar, make sure everything's right when you change your strings. Um, I'm not going to make a video on changing the strings. I'm just uh, not really into editing that. So let's go ahead. I will cut the video here. We will come back and uh, do some comparisons. All right, so we've changed our strings. We've done a preliminary tune-up. <laughs> Horrible. But we got to stretch out our strings. So I'm going to quickly do that and then tune it right back up. All right, so now that we're all stretched out, let's go ahead and listen, and we'll probably notice that. I'll go out of tune after a few bends, uh, usually after I change a set of strings. I'm playing for an hour after that and they kind of work themselves in. So here's new strings on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Switch over to the clean channel. Bridge pickup. Neck. Back over to the burn on the bridge. So let's do some very quick comparisons back to back. So old to new. So there you go. So hopefully that was kind of helpful. Um, it's kind of a tip that's very obvious, but if you kind of feel like you're missing something and you haven't changed your strings in a long time, that might be why. Or if you kind of like me, um, those old strings, as long as they stay in tune and they're not flat, um, 
keep them on. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was informative. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I know there's going to be some that just say it sounded bad with new and with old strings because people just like to flame people on the internet, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to Tricro Studios. Um, hit like. We'll get some more videos going on this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I've been Ryan from Tricro Studios. I'll see you later.